So this is a video of how to give an intramuscular injection. So first of all, before we do that, I will have to get my gloves. I will make sure I am gloved up. Right, so let me glove up. So right now, as you can see, I am gloved up. So I will go and get my syringe. This is my 10 mil syringe. Okay. Then I gather my needle. So the reason why I'm you going to get a another needle is because I will explain to you later. You have to know this very well because that is where sometimes some patients are being injured. Okay. So I will gather my uh, ample bottle. So I will go to my train where I have assembled it and then I do what I'm going to start watch this. so if I want to open it I will open it from top to bottom so that I will ensure not I will not open it this way because if I do I'm going to con infect I'm going to infect this tip of the syringe so I want to open from the top to bottom then I connect can you see I connect then if this were to be a broken bottle I will do what I'm going to break it so after breaking it I'm going to make sure that I follow the tip you see how slanted this needle is I'm going to put it then aspirate aspirate after which I will recap okay then after recapping I'm going to change this needle I will change this needle the reason why I'm going to change this needle is because that this was an ample bottle so there is every tendency that the broken bottle particles have been aspirated to the tip of this syringe and the tip of this needle rather so if i use the same needle to inject this patient i am going to do what Con they, they are likely to contaminate an infection that place is going to get swollen and from there it become an abscess so what i'm going to do is to change i am going to change this needle to this needle this is a new needle so that's the reason why the patient will not feel pain i will now change it can you see so I will go to administer right now. So it is assumed this is a female Botox. What do I need to do? What I need to do now is this. I will have to measure her Botox, her gluteal muscles into four corner one, two. The reason why I am differentiating it this way is because I am running away from the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is very much here. In this angle but they are not much here the sciatic nerve are much here okay to the lateral media parts but to the last lateral external they are less so i'm going to administer the injection at the upper outer quadrant of the buttox so when i remove my needle i'm going to after cleaning i will insert it inside i will chuck it in then aspirate i'm going to draw draw to check if there is any blood coming out if there is no blood coming out it shows me that i'm in the right uh, position and how i have to choke but if there is any blood coming out it shows that i am in the wrong position what do i need to do i need to draw it withdraw it back and then look for another site at the same upper outer quadrant same applies to the right buttocks too i hope this is clear to you now after which I will discard this syringe in the box and then discard the needle in a safety box. With that being said, I hope to see you in the other side of the lecture. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.